The lobsters. Yeah, can't miss it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna get yelled at. Hello, everybody. So, I've been in Florida for like a couple days. We went shopping the first day. The weather's just been bad. Well, not bad. It's been like cloudy and like I just I want the sun. So tonight we're super low key. I was craving pizza so much. That we're ordering pizza in tonight. We were supposed to go out. We're all just tired and I just, I just want pizza. I went in the water for like two seconds today. It was just really cold. So like, we're praying to the sun gods. Please, please let there be sun. The sun will come out tomorrow. That's your bottom sand dollar. Cause we're in Florida with the beach. <laughs> Stop. 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 <laughs> yeah, it's some pretty bland pizza. I'm happy. You didn't put extra cheese on it. Nope. You asked so nicely, too. Yeah. We went shopping. We went into every store. We purchased a lot of things and the beeper kept going off when we entered stores and all the clerks were like, you're fine, go, you're good, you're good. And we're like, okay. And then it was my bag. It was when I walked in and I was with Viv and I was like, Viv, do you trust me? Like, I would never steal. She's like, yeah, I trust you. This is weird though. And I was like, yeah. She's like, sometimes they just go off. And I was like, yeah, you're right. I'm trying on outfits today. You guys are probably like, wow, gee, cute outfit. Thank you. Thank you. I wanted to wear a specific shirt. That I got from the mall. I was like looking for it. I was like, it's that cute blue shirt. So I pick it up. I put it on. Mama, I'm a criminal. It still has this on it. And I'm not going back to the mall. I took the tag off. I. Because <sighs> my mama, I'm a criminal. I'm a criminal. Criminal. So I'm gonna try to take it off. Maybe if I turn it a little. Mama, I'm a criminal. Is this so wrong to post on the internet? Me taking one of these off. I'll literally show you the receipt. I literally have the receipt. This shirt was like the only thing at the store I didn't get on sale, by the way. It was kind of funny. Is this like child lock for adults? Sage. You can have scissors here. Is it a scissors or just scissors? Okay, I'll, I'll let you know if I ever get this off. Pray for me. Hi, it's me. So I'm at the beach. Again, the sun is trying to come out. It's still like not that hot. I brought all my paint stuff. I was super scared that I wasn't going to make a pass like TSA and everything at the airport because I looked things up online and I'm like, can I travel with paint? A lot of them were like, definitely don't travel with paint. But a lot of them were like, you can travel with paint. So I was like, oh. So I packed some paint and I hope for the best. And we made it through. So that's good. There's chat. Say hi. You can't even see my face. My hair is crazy.
Okay, so it took me two hours, but I did build my sand castle. Okay, I got pizza again. Surprise, surprise. I'm also on a date with chat right now. Say hi, chat. Say hi. It looks pretty good. I'm very hungry. I'm hoping it warms me up, if anything. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Angel wings. And we have a very special guest. Okay, for anyone who doesn't know, Gokan and I met back, like, 2020? 2019. Maybe 19. For anybody who is like, why is there always like Turkish all over her comments? And it's because of me. Because they are Gokan soldiers. My soldiers are here. We're both screaming. We're gonna look for some shells. Also, shout out to Gokan because if it wasn't for Gokan, I wouldn't know about Twitch. And it really, like, I'll never not like say how important that is. Like, you really. It's you really enjoy nice. it. I see it. I love it. Okay, I just made you explore it, yeah. but you had the talent, so you made it keep going because I could host or teach anybody but maybe they can't make it but you made a lot of like progress so I feel very proud of you Aww. Aww. Very nice. <laughs> I'm really glad like I'm honestly I'm really glad this happening today We are at the Beach Cafe and Pizza in Fort Lauderdale. Where you guys at? <laughs> Let's know where are you guys from. Oh, I'm from New York. Where are you from? Turkey. No, Turkey. 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 <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try the pizza. Uh, your name one more time. Rafael. Rafael gave me a nice slice of his pizza just to try. It's very kind of him. Nice and clean. No flop. With my day of no, I'm thinking. I'm looking for the love. It's better than I thought it would be. You know why? I can taste the love. You're very kind. I can tell you're passionate about your business. Thank you. Okay, so right now, we changed out of our beach attire, and Gokhan and I are at a restaurant on the A1A. And this is the funniest thing. We have a table. We have a table just devoted to our streams. We have our flower face. This is the slice pizza from where we just were. I'm gonna feed it to a bird when I see it. But yeah, this is the setup. I just think it's so funny. Oh, where are they here? We're there. They're very nice. Shout out, I forget what this guy's name is, but shout out to him. We got octopus and la pizza. And I am crushing this. Go well, on, you gotta figure it out. <laughs> Thank you for the sub. You gotta have a train chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jill. I've currently been hanging out with me all day. This me, myself, and I. Oh, I got my nails done. I got Ben and Jerry's. I swear, I was walking by the shop and I just smelled brownies and I was like, oh. And I walked in, I got a brownie. And then, you know, I couldn't walk in and not get ice cream, so I got ice cream too. So now I'm just kind of sitting here, um, having a date with myself, basically. Just enjoying my company. I never just like chill out, I realized like ever. I'm always like on the go, I'm always working, I'm always streaming, I'm always just making the most of every second. And today I was like, uh, what am I gonna do? This ice cream is freezer burn. Oh, you know what I got? I did window shop a little bit, hold on. 
One of the things I got was this shark tooth necklace. I got it for Mike because <laughs> he reminds me of like a beach Ken doll. And like, I don't know, I just feel like he'd look really cute wearing it. So I got him that. But I was like indecisive. I was like, should I get it? Will he ever wear it? That car thinks he will. And then I was like, are these like going out of style? Is this like so 2000 late? And I told the store lady, I was like, I don't know if I should get this shark tooth. Like, are they out of style? And she goes, honey, shark tooth never go out of style. And I said, bet. I don't really know where I'm going. <clears throat> so I'm just letting my like feet lead me. I don't really know what I'm doing. Yeah, it might be nice to just kind of like stream over here. That might be nice. I think we should do that. What do you guys think? Ah, you don't really get a choice. Today's my day. Pretend it did that. Oh, no! Okay, so I got my streaming phone. We came back to this spot and I'm just telling Chad about my day. It's nice to have friends who listen to you no matter when you press go live. So God bless chat. They're amazing. They're my friends. They fit in my pocket. Um, I changed too, by the way. It's just got cold, so I put on the iconic pink jacket that I always wear. Also, chat got me a hype train. <laughs> oh! Also, I was wearing like really nice sunglasses, right? You just saw on the clip before this. And then I went to the hotel room. I took them off. I like just, you know, went to the bathroom, changed my outfit. And then I left, and then I'm walking down and the street, and it's like so sunny. I forgot my sunglasses. So I went into that store over there. You probably can't see it, but it's like literally right over there. And I bought these sunglasses. They were 16 American dollars. But I'm, they're kind of growing on me. I kind of love it. They're kind of nice. So there's like this piazza, this square, and the sun's coming through. And I was like, okay, I'm going to sit and like literally be a flower and absorb the sun. I don't know if it's going to get me tan. That's not like what we're doing right now. I just needed to absorb Vitamin D. I just needed to absorb it. So I just sat there and I did this like this and I just took in the sun for probably like 45 minutes. The guy from last night, the pizza guy, um, who gave us a free slice pizza, he was there. It was that section. He walked up and he's like, you look so elegant. And I was like, do you remember me? And he's like, oh my god, the pizza good. And I was like, yeah. And that was nice. Hi guys, we're with Viv. And we're gonna make some, well first we're gonna have some wine. We're gonna make doves out of origami. I'm so Wait, excited! You've never done this before? Mm-mm. <laughs> Alright, step one. Oh shoot, I'm already confused. <laughs> Do you know, did you ever experience What's a valley that? bowl? Wait, listen. <laughs> oh wait, but it's better. Oh. This is a lot. Oh no, it's okay, let's do this. Alright, so I open this up, open the flap, and fold it back to the right corner. This is like Viv doing my homework right now. Oh my god. Wait. It's like Gio with this. Oh, yeah, That's so yeah. much meat. Yeah, uh, stick it down on the, on the countertop. Here, watch out, girls. We're making doves. Sorry. Wait, I'm making doves. Viv, make this. <laughs> Do we um need anything else? We need everyone to get ready to sit down and eat some food. Yeah. All right, cool. Will we ever make the doves? Find out next week. Where are we going? Good place. What is it? Burlock Coast. See, so now you can tell people when they come to visit here that's where we, you should go because we had really good experiences there. We've been going there for the last three years. In the last three days. In the last three days. I mean, you do whatever you want. Okay. Cause I don't know if you want to experience that too. Uh, Depending on what time you it, want. It all depends on like if I decide to like. Okay. Whatever. So Erin flies in tonight around like nine, and then I have to, I'll take her everywhere. We'll meet Miami tomorrow. All right. Craig, where are you going? I gotta go to Savannah. Tell us what's in your hand though first before you go. Some Whole Foods branded sparkling. Water. So why sparkling water? Bye, Carzana. Bye, Car. Catch a big fish. <laughs> Ready to catch? You just do that. And you just toss up. Not that much. See how it's 
know I'm like not really caring. Okay, ready? <laughs> yes! Wow, you're natural! <laughs> Did you ever think you'd be fucking pizza dough? <laughs> no, but I think it's served with some pizza dough. Oh, yeah, yeah, but like fake pizza dough. No, on a cold. Oh, yeah. Like on a cold. You think it's just me and Viv, but it's an entire, <laughs> it's an entire audience. Okay, you guys, so we just got out of the pool, and the sun's gone. how beautiful she is. I just got out of the pool. The sun's gone, but you guys, the chronicle of trying to get this thing off this shirt from the mall continues. Viv came prepared with a hammer. <laughs> So just a disclaimer, there is a receipt for this. We talked about I had the whole, okay. trust me, I did the whole thing. Okay. I was like, is this legal? Witness, she did it. Mama, I'm a criminal. Oh! <laughs> What's the thing on TikTok? Um, how much you pay for rent in Florida? <laughs> Let me just tell you guys what just happened. We were walking, we were shopping, and um, we saw this alleyway, and I was like, look how beautiful, like we need to do something. Which usually I don't ever recommend just to like walk into an alleyway. alleyway. I just was like, let's get some vibes in this lighting. Oh, these are real! Yeah. Wait, they're real! Yeah. There's one that fell, you can grab it. <gasps> That's really pretty! Oh. Wow! It's very beautiful. I love it. your outfit. That's so cute. Very cute, very cute. I don't know. Again. Okay. Good morning. I'm wearing this shirt officially. Mama, I'm a criminal. Mama, I'm a criminal. Criminal. Clark and I have been going to the same place for breakfast for how many times now? Five. Five times in a row. This is always the situation. I get an English muffin, cream cheese, and then I get one of these little jams. And then Clark gets smoked salmon. Then Clark gets some form of eggs. Today he got chicken sausage, so that was like different. He gets some potatoes, these are really good. I usually take a couple. And then his comes with another English muffin that I take, so I get two. He doubles it, gives it to me. And then I also get... And then I also <laughs> get two eggs, hard boiled. They always make them perfect. They always like the perfect kind of yellow. They use the egg timer. Yeah, they definitely use an egg. Look at that, it's always perfect. So I always have to get it. And then I always get um, a caramel surprise, like iced coffee. I asked for double caramel, they never do it. Today, they did it. I already had a lot of it, and look how much is in there. And then Clark gets hot black coffee. He also gets sparkling water. What a surprise. Also, there's always pigeons. Why do you like going to this place for breakfast? It's convenient, it's high quality, it's good, the view is nice. And we see a lot of Supermates! Super mix. This is super mix. Super mix. Gee, what's so special about the super mix? I don't know. I, just, I saw it on the first day and I keep seeing it drive by. And super. It's, it's kind of like a comfort thing. Like it's just like, Shut up. <laughs> you know, when you're like somewhere away from home and you, you see need something, you need a super mix. It's just nice. It's comforting. So when I see super mix, I just yell, super mix! Okay, I'm gonna eat this now that it's cold. See, look, I just sacrificed the heat of my breakfast to tell you what's going on. Okay, bye. Universe saves the last day, the best day, your last. Thank you, sun gods. The last day. The wind is gentle. It's hot, but not too hot. The waves are super chill. It's beautiful, and I'm very grateful to be receiving a perfect last day. I feel probably the most relaxed that I have the entire trip today. I took like a little walk this morning. One thing I thought about was I don't feel as like like, I feel like my life isn't as purposeful um, here than it is at home when I'm working all the time. Like, I feel happier when I'm working. And then I was thinking about, like, maybe, like, my work is just, like, I'm really blessed to have work that I'm truly passionate about, you know? Like, part of me is my work, but it doesn't feel like work. It just feels like my life. They always say, like, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder. I truly think about that, like, you know, when you're away, it gives you time to reflect and be grateful for what you do all the time, but I guess I'm trying to figure out how to find that gratitude without having to, like, 
go away, you know? Is there like a hack for that? Like, can I feel more grateful without having to like leave physically? I don't know, I'm like homesick, but in a sense where like I'm homesick for work. Like, I just wanna work. Is that unhealthy? Comment down below. I don't think it is because like if something makes you happy and it's not considered like normal to other people, like who cares? Like that's what you like to do. Like I love to work, fun. Keeps me active. Makes me feel fulfilled, makes me feel like I'm producing in this world. Like sometimes when I'm here, I'm just like, what if my life was just laying out on the beach all day and doing nothing? Like, yeah, it's fun for like two days and then it just gets boring and then your life feels kind of like meaningless. Like, what do you provide? Like, it's just like the NPC life. Oh, we have a visitor. Hi. Sister. So why do I feel better now? Arcadian rhythm. Yeah, Greece Arcadian Rhythm. Wait, is it Arcadian Rhythm? Circadian Rhythm. Oh. It's part of Circadian Rhythm. Oh. The, the thing is, everything... Cicadas? Yeah, cicadas, yeah. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> everything is super connected just to how your, your, your mind is completely connected to how your body feels, right? And people don't realize that. And when you change your environment very drastically, like it's going from winter in Rochester to all of a sudden just nice weather in... in Florida, not only are you dealing with like a physical climate change, you're also a completely different uh, environment. You have to get used to your new surroundings, how you sleep. Why does it feel more intense as you get older? Like how come when I was younger it wasn't that much? You're younger, you can't spring back as quickly. A lot of it too is the the fact that you have more dopamine produced by seeing something different, something new. And when you're have, younger? When you're younger, yes. Like I feel completely different today than I did like the first day I Right. It takes, Completely different. It takes time to, to break into settling, feeling comfortable in your new environment. That's why it's important to just completely have an attitude of when you travel that it's not like, oh, I'm vacationing or this is something special. It's like, okay, this is where I am right now. Put yourself in that mindset. It makes it a lot easier to transition. What also really helps is if you try not to deviate, you know, the things that you can make sure that stays the same is when you're home that, like, you know, are important is try not to deviate. So like, you know, keep your diet the same as much as possible. Eat yeah. at the same time. I eat pizza like every day. Stop. <laughs> I didn't reason. see it, I just wanted to see you. There's no way. It's gonna break my bag and I won't let it break. Okay, okay, don't do it then. Don't do it, Kark. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's gonna work. Okay, say bye. What? Just say bye. Say the end. The end. You want to take a look at my Pellegrino stash? <laughs> <laughs>